What's going on? Welcome back to Real World Tool Reviews. Uh, I've got episode three, kind of, of a uh, series I've been doing about my favorite tools from my favorite tool brands. And uh, today I'm excited about this one because this is one of my favorite brands of all time. It's a, it's an American classic uh, channel lock, USA. Uh, if you want some pliers, no matter what kind of pliers you need, chances are this company right here, Channel Lock, is going to have you covered. Um, if you need big ones, little ones, or in between, <laughs> they uh, they got you covered. And they're quality, affordable tools made in the United States. And they may be, I mean, they're one of the few companies left that is making tools in the USA for really competitive, affordable prices. I mean, you know, you can buy some snap-on pliers. I have some, I love them, but they're, I mean, you know, three times the price of one pair of channel locks. So, uh, this is gonna be kind of, uh, this is technically six. I lumped kind of the big and the small channel locks together, but I've been doing kind of my five favorites from brands, but. This fit on the 2x4, whatever fits on the 2x4, that's what is working for these videos. So these are my favorite channel lock tools. And I'm gonna start with uh, my favorite crimpers. I love these crimpers. These are the uh, number 909 channel lock, made in the USA, uh, crimping pliers. They do insulated and non-insulated uh, crimps they for like but it, i use these for butt connectors like they come in handy working on your car sometimes um what i use them the most for is working on air conditioners you know a lot of blower boards and goodman's burn up and sometimes like the butt connectors on a uh, contactor will burn up you just if you work on air conditioners uh, for an extended period of time, you will eventually run into some burnt up uh, connections. You're gonna need to crimp on a new connector. And uh, these are the ones you want. This is the kind of crimper that works the best. Now Klein makes these. Uh, a bunch of other companies have this style. This is the style to use. Uh, this channel lock one, uh, I, I bought it at Home Depot. I love it. You know, that's one good thing about channel lock is like, they're always at Home Depot and they're just, you know, pretty affordable, good tools. This is a great, great set of crimpers. Here is my uh, end nippers. These are the uh, Channel Lock E357s. Um, these are just awesome little uh, finish nail tools, basically, like for pulling finish nails, or cutting finished nails flush against the wall. Um, these are my favorite pair of them. I love these to death. They have just been like, when I'm doing trim carpentry, um, if I'm doing a lot of trim work, if I'm fixing a, you know, door, if I'm put, if I'm replacing a door jam that somebody kicked in or uh, any type of trim stuff, I find myself doing it a lot. These are like an extension of my hand. Like I'm just, pulling out all the nails and whatever needs to get snipped, I'm snipping it. Uh, these are just a really comfortable tool for me to use and I couldn't live without them. I really, they're, they're one of my favorite tools um, because they just work and they are simple, great, well-designed tools. Uh, here is just a little tiny pick and the shape of this pick I've kind of made it that shape, the way it's bent that way uh, at the end. I did that just by prying on something with it that I really shouldn't have been doing. I use picks for a lot of stuff I shouldn't use picks for. But uh, this shape has ended up being perfect for me for getting little O-rings out. Uh, I do that a lot. I take, uh, there's a certain faucet that I work on a lot at the apartments that uh, I can get a lot better flow coming out of if I take it apart and take one little o-ring off the cartridge. Anyway, this works really well for it. 
just because of that little extra curve there. Channel Lock makes the, this set of little picks made in the USA. They're great. They're, they're cheap, and they're better than the orange Harbor Freight ones, which, which I have the Harbor Freight ones too. I love them too, but I'm a pick. I have picks everywhere. I use them all the time, and, but this is my favorite one, this little channel lock. And then the, you know, channel locks that everybody, that everybody knows and loves is going to be your tongue and groove channel locks. Um, this is the oldest pair I have. I've had them forever. This is the, I think this is the six inch pair. I can't even see the model number on these anymore. 426s, that's what these are. These are the channel lock 426s and they come in handy like you wouldn't believe. I've been using these for years and years. I love them to death. They're awesome. They are just small, little, handy bastards. They come in handy way more than you would ever think they would. Uh, I keep them in my everyday little tool pouch that I've got another video on. My, my pouch that I use all, all the time, grab with me every day. These stay with me all the time. I use them just about every day. I love them to death. And then the classic ones that most everybody has is the 10 inch channel locks. These are the 430s. Um, and they're great. They're just, the thing I love about channel lock is it's simple, uh, reliable. It's not complicated. There's not a lot of bells and whistles on these tools. They just work. They're, they don't have any stupid special designs that they want to charge you an extra $5 for. They don't have reamers on them or whatever the fuck people use to try and say that their tools are better. Channel lock just makes real simple. These open pretty wide for a 10 inch pair of channel locks. Uh, they're pretty, they're pretty stout. They're pretty thick. Um, they have, you know, good solid teeth on them. They're very easy to adjust. They're at the best adjust, adjustment in my opinion. I don't like the button style. I like these regular grooves. I can do this one handed a lot of the time. Like just if I really need to just do it with one hand, adjust where I need to go and ready to roll. Channel locks, channel locks, channel locks. These are channel locks and they're the best. And uh, you know, these three right here are kind of like all lumped into one, but you need a big ass pair. And this is, I believe the 16 inch pair. They make an even bigger pair than these. Uh, but I love these. These are the, uh, four sixties is what these are. Yeah. Channel lock four sixties and they are just beasts and uh i use them when i'm working on like gas pipe and stuff sometimes sometimes you just need some extra leverage they bite really good on pipe uh they're almost like a big pipe wrench um but this is the only tool that i have that works for those big nuts like usually they're big plastic nuts on the bottom of a toilet tank. If you have to replace a toilet tank or replace a flush valve, that nut that holds the flush valve onto the tank, you need a big pair of channel locks to do that. I don't know what else really would work, uh, unless you just had a huge wrench. <laughs> but these just open, sometimes you need something that has this big of an opening and will give you the leverage to to get it off. So uh, these, everybody needs to have a pair of big ass channel locks. Everybody needs to have a pair of little baby channel locks. And everybody needs to have your everyday 10 inch channel locks. These are a must have tool set in my opinion. Uh, there's, there's really, you can, you just absolutely cannot go wrong. If all my tools, if all my pliers that I own got stolen today, somebody broke into my shop and took all my stuff, I would probably just go out and buy a full set, replace all my pliers with channel locks. 
because they're inexpensive and they're super high quality, made in the United States of America. Uh, this company needs to be supported because they are doing it the right way in an era where it's real easy to sell out to China. Channel Lock, if they wanted to sell out their, their brand name to China, they could do it in an instant and they would make a ton of money probably. But they have stuck with making tools in the United States and that is something that they need to be commended for and supported for. So these are my favorite channel lock tools. Um, let me know in the comments if you have some channel lock tools that you like better than these or maybe that you think I should get. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, I hope y'all have a great day.